Hi everyone, Phil from statisticsmentor.com here helping you with SPSS. Now, one of the first things we do when we begin the analysis is to set up our variables. Recall that we have the two tabs, one for the data view which is just looks like Excel, that's where all the numbers go, and one for variable view which describes the variable of each entry in the columns. So we click on variable view. Now what we're going to discuss in this video are uh, the name and label because I find that students get confused between the two. Now for each variable we have to give it a name and also a label. This is where the words go. Uh, these are words to describe what your variables are. Now the thing is this the name here is for your reference when you're running your analysis and is not displayed in the output. The actual word that is displayed comes under label. So this is where a fuller account of the description of the variable is entered. Okay, in short, N is for like the nickname. N for nickname. Nicknames are short. L for long description. This is where the lengthy description goes or at least the description you want to appear in the output. Let's say we have a variable education. Now there are some limits on this name so let's let's just try a few things here. Say can we enter the word education level education level. Ah I get message variable name contains a legal character. Now this is because under name we are not allowed spaces so like A, B, C as soon as it's accepted and if it's accepted all the other entries suddenly appear. Let's remove that by clicking on one and delete uh, one and delete the whole thing one and delete clear the whole thing. Okay let's try something else then uh, so it doesn't like spaces. So if we have how about to educate to educ for some reason I want to begin with a one or a, or a, or a number two. Again this says uh, an error message variable contains an illegal first character. Now that is because we are not allowed numbers at the start. But educ one and you a number would be accepted. So the restrictions under name here is that there mustn't be any spaces and also the first character must not be, it must be a letter basically, right? So it can't be a number or other strange thing, star educ, won't be, not accepted either. It's got to begin with a, a letter of the alphabet. Right, so for your convenience, remember Nick, N for nickname, should be kept short. I like to keep it real short, three or whatever, three if possible. Label, this is where the full um, description can come. This is where whatever you enter here will come into your output. So let's describe it. Education level. All right. So here that there's less restrictions, labels. You could, you could, let's see, you could even begin with two education even begin with a number and you can have spaces. But we want education level. Okay. Let's see we have now education. Let's just enter some fictitious data like that. Right, I want to show you now so where edu and education level comes into this. So let's say we want to look at the descriptive stats of the frequency tables. Look in here it says education level so that is our label and then in the brackets is our name, the nickname. I move it into the variable box and I just say OK. Just want to look at some output here. So notice I've got two boxes in the output and they're referred to as education level not which is the label not educ the name. Education level right so this is what you want we want people to see. Now, before finishing, 
let's note this again. Let's go back to descriptors of frequencies. Reset this uh, thing. Right, it's often the case I help students who have questionnaire data and they've got loads of variables coming down here and their labels could be quite lengthy. If it's quite lengthy, you can see that this is going to run off the box, so it gets all a bit, you know, it gets uh, it gets really, really clumsy. It's just a massive, massive long, le long uh, phrases here, and um, it's hard to find what you want. Now, if we know what our name is, and we know because you know we've set up the name, our nickname, for our reference, it, I think it's a lot more convenient if we can just reset SPSS so it only displays the nickname rather than both the label and the nickname you know there's just too much there and especially if your label is too long as I said this is going to look really clumsy how you can do that I want to kind of display only the nickname for my analysis except for when I get the actual output in which case we want the label how you do that is you go under edit options takes a bit of time here what's it doing okay we've got pop-up box now under the general tab variable lists we want it to display our name nickname all right and then we say okay all right now let's try that again the analyze and you see what's changed descriptive stats frequencies look at that now enter here is just this is what I mean just the nickname the name so it's less clumsy and if we've got loads and tons of stuff coming down here we've got tons of variables then it's much more manageable to find you know it's quicker to find what we want all right if I shift this over again to the other side and I press OK you can see that the output has not changed it's still delivered to us the labels not the nickname so all I've done is just to got SPSS to display in the um, intermediary steps of the analysis to get it to display only the nickname, the name. Alright, so uh, that's a useful tip actually. Great, so um, that's all.